today, Bitcoin and all the other cryptos are going absolutely insane. So we're going to talk about this today because we're going to do a technical analysis for Bitcoin. We're going to go ahead and look at some other cryptos because right now the prices are going crazy. We're going to see how long this is going to last for, where exactly we're going to get rejected at. And remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this financial advice. We're just going to kind of go over this. So let's get straight to it now. Now, first things first with Bitcoin, like 56K Bitcoin right now, that's absolutely crazy. Like 9.3% in the last 24 hours. When was the last time we seen Bitcoin at 9.3% up in the last 24 hours? That's been a very long time. Last seven days, 8%. Last 14 days, 12.3%. Last 30 days, 32.3%. Last year, 139%. If anybody was not convinced that we're inside of a bull market right now i don't know what to tell you guys this is like literally crypto season right now this is a crypto bull run so anybody who says that we're not like we've literally been inside the bull run since we left 16k bitcoin so you know we had to wait until about 30k to see if we were really inside that bull run but after we passed 30k that pretty much says says it all right so anyways with all the other cryptos you know everything else is up but remember when money flows out of Bitcoin, it goes into the altcoins. So people might look at something like Cardano and say, well, it's only up 5% and Bitcoin's up 9%. They might go down here, look at Tron, say Tron's only up 2.3%, Bitcoin 9%. You know, they might look at some of these other things like Polkadot, Polygon and think, well, these ones are lower inside of the percentage that they're up. So they're just going to buy Bitcoin. Right now, Bitcoin is cool and all, but remember that money is going to flow out of Bitcoin eventually, and it's going to eventually go into these other cryptos. So it's really good. It's really nice to see that Bitcoin is up. Just remember how the flow of the markets go because that money is going to soon flow out of these other cryptos into Bitcoin. So that's essentially what's going to happen here. And, you know, I've been watching this for a while. I've been watching all these other cryptos and Bitcoin right now. It's a very good one to look at, right? Bitcoin's doing extremely well. The other cryptos are doing good as well. But, you know, Bitcoin right now is really where everybody's looking at. It's kind of where you want to look at just for the time being. So anyways, let's go over some of the prices here for Bitcoin because we actually passed, well, we're not necessarily past a significant rate right now, but we're at a level right now where, you know, this is going to tell everything. So we're at a major resistance. I have no doubt in my mind that we're going to pass this resistance, by the way. I do believe we're about to pass this Fibonacci right here. So we're about to really get past 56K going to 57K real soon. So once we get into that 57K territory, remember what I said before, there's little to no resistance from about 57k up to like 62k and I'm, i kind of want to explain why and i explained it in a previous video but i'll go ahead and go over it again because this is a very important level for us now kind of looking back to where we were before let me take this line out just so we can have a clean cut thing here so what we're looking at here with bitcoin is our previous um support levels that we were as we were coming down from our bull market where we went previously for our supports as we were coming down from those um, all-time highs previously. So remember, all-time high for Bitcoin, if we look down here, it's about 69K. So we're almost at all-time high levels right now. We're at 56K, right? We're a little bit um, shy of 10K, uh, right? So this, is, this isn't, you know, this isn't for everybody to celebrate right now because remember, there's still resistance levels. The first one that we're really looking at, like I said, 57K. That was a major level once we broke that support back here inside of 2021. It was just all down from there once we broke that support. We just had major crashes once we broke that support, right? So we broke that support and then that happened. But we had little to no resistance before then. Remember what we had before then, like all the way up here at like 69K Bitcoin. It pretty much will go straight from 57K to about 59K Bitcoin. It's not that big of a stretch if you actually look at it from 57k up to 69k it's not that far of a stretch and if you look at it from the um, point of view from our fibonacci let's kind of scroll in here to look at this like after we break this fibonacci retracement the next one is going to be our top right the next one is going to be our top right here and if we break that we're going to seamlessly go all the way up to our all-time high at 69k first is going to have to get to 62k and if it gets rejected midway because typically with fibonacci's if they get rejected midway, like it did here, it just pulls back for a little, then it pumps. It'll still probably get up to 69K. So I think once we hit the 69K Bitcoin, when we start pulling back, that's when the money starts to flow into the altcoins. 
So once we see 69K Bitcoin, we may see all that money flowing at, down into those altcoins. And that's kind of what I'm looking at here. So right now, I'm really focused on accumulating altcoins because Bitcoin's already close to a really high point. Like if you have a lot of money, okay, cool. Bitcoin is definitely really good for you to get in. But if you're just looking at like 10K, maybe 20K, right now is a good time to get inside of these altcoins. And that's what I'm looking at for those levels. Like, you know, get a cool 10K inside of a whole portfolio of cryptos. You don't have 10K, you know, try 1K. But you definitely want to be building up your altcoin portfolio right now because when Bitcoin goes down, like that money's immediately flowing into altcoins. It's not going to wait. It's not going to wait. Like altcoins already have money flowing into them, by the way, right? But even more money is going to flow into these altcoins. Like this is kind of crazy looking at Theta Network, like 52.8% inside the last 24 hours. I'm going to have to do some research on that, but that's crazy. Like Thorchain, everything's doing like crazy, crazy, crazy numbers. If you want to know my personal portfolio of things that I'm looking at, these aren't everything that I own. But these are just a lot of cryptos that I'm looking at. So, you know, if you just want to take note of these, like Stacks is going crazy. And you got to think Stacks being built on Bitcoin, like, you know, obviously it's going to do good when Bitcoin does good. Like that's crazy. 25.8% in the last 24 hours for Stacks. 239% in the last year for Stacks. So I, th I see stuff like this doing really good inside of this bull run, like Stacks, because, you know, Bitcoin's going crazy. Once Bitcoin hits its all-time high again, once it gets and creates another all-time high, it's going to go even crazier. And if you look at it, $4.5 billion inside of market cap, if you just think about that, like, what would Stacks do, you know, inside of like a, let's say like a 10x, like, um, we could get, we would get to like $45 billion. So we could see stuff like that inside of these different Bitcoin projects. So I think a lot of different altcoins, like, you're going to, you're going to see a lot of these layer twos, they're really going to be popping off this, this season, right? This altcoin season, layer twos are really the go-to that's my personal opinion i think that's where you really want to be looking at bitcoin's cool bitcoin's cool don't get me wrong bitcoin's cool but bitcoin is what you want to be looking at to judge where the other cryptos are about to go it's not necessarily what you want to be the end all be all it's what you want to look at for you know the other cryptos like where are these other cryptos about to go like if you see bitcoins popping off just know once bitcoin starts to pull back these other ones are going to be popping off twice as much. So that's what I'm looking at right now. You guys know I love Kronos. Kronos was doing very, very good. But Kronos is one of the cryptos that really hasn't had a big run since, you know, the last bull run, which are the coins that I'm really, really, really looking at. So Kronos has not had that big run. Now, if we kind of go back here, I want to show, kind of show you stacks. And there's a reason why I'm looking at these specific cryptos and like showing you like what these different cryptos are doing. Like looking at Kronos hasn't had any type of run since 2021, which means it has more upside potential. This is how I pretty much choose my picks here. You look at Stacks. Stacks is cool, but Stacks has had a huge run since its bull run. You know, Stacks is almost at the peak of its next bull run. It's actually made its new all-time high recently. So, I mean, this is this is crazy, but yeah, like stuff like this, I'm watching out for it. But I'm really looking at the things that haven't had its run up yet. Like Kronos, it has not had its run up. Bitcoin, on the other hand, Bitcoin has had its, uh, a nice little run up, right? So this this is pretty much how I'm picking what I'm putting more money into. Is something else that I'm really, really, really getting big on right now. Phantom. I'm going to make some videos about Phantom, right? This is kind of a video. I just wanted to talk about Bitcoin in this video, but I got carried away. But, you know, I just wanted to show the uh, technical analysis. Phantom has not had its run yet. So this is another thing that's about to happen to run. So I'm going to make a whole video talking about different altcoins. So don't worry. Just got carried away for this video because I wanted to talk about that. But yeah, let's get back to Bitcoin though. Because these other altcoins, I'm going to make a whole video talking about altcoin gems that we need to be watching for 2024. But as for right now with Bitcoin being up 9.6%, what we could see inside of Bitcoin, like I said, going all the way up to the 69K area, what would happen after that because if we look over here at our rsi we can actually see the rsi it's on its way up so we know we're going to continue to go past this level we know that we have the potential here in bitcoin to pass this fibonacci retracement right here now let's kind of take off the fibonacci for a second let's just look at the automated trading indicators with chart prime link in the description if you want that by the way but looking at chart prime we are about to pass our momentum wave band 
what did I say before? I said, typically, once we have these uh, red areas in the momentum wave band, which are our resistance areas, when they start to turn pink like this, that means that they're about to break out. It does it every single time. Look at what's happening. It's starting to turn pink with those momentum wave bands. If you look down here, what happened before it started to break out? It started to turn pink with the momentum wave bands, and then it kept going, and then it kept going, and it kept going. Well, we're just now at the start of another pump just like that. So this could easily turn into this and get us all the way up to 70k. So I'm looking I'm looking towards 70k Bitcoin soon. Like that's kind of crazy because you know I've been saying like I want Bitcoin to pull back and there's still a possibility. And yes, there's still a possibility for that pullback. But we might just see 70k and then we just might get a big uh, a big pullback, you know, going all the way back down to the 50k areas from 70k. That's what I'm predicting here. I'm predicting now maybe we we might actually see that 70k but we are going to pull back down we might pull back down to the 50ks we might pull back down to the 40ks but we're going to have that pullback because then that's when all the money flows from bitcoin to the altcoins so that's typically what happens here with the market but yeah let me know what you guys think about this because this is a really good topic to talk about and i really i really like watching bitcoin compared with all the other altcoins you know there's a lot of altcoins that just have not had the run yet. And those are the ones you, you want to pay attention to. Like this, VeChain is starting to ramp up. Look at VeChain, starting to ramp up. This this is the type of stuff that you want to look at. I don't know why I don't have it in my portfolio right now, but I'm definitely about to buy some, v, some VeChain. So I'm definitely going to be watching out for that. But there's a lot of different things that you really want to watch out for. So I would say VeChain, definitely one of those. If you like the Bitcoin stuff, I mean, I guess you could say Litecoin. Litecoin hasn't really had its, light, its run up. And during every single bull market, Litecoin always does pretty good. But there's always a plateau with Litecoin. There's It always hits a plateau where it just can't get any higher for some reason. And, you know, that's okay. No, not everything's meant to run and continue to run. But Litecoin is one of those things that kind of hits this plateau and just kind of stops. But, yeah, let me know inside the comments if you want me to do a whole live stream. And then we can do a live stream where we just, uh, we, you know, we chop it up, talk, and we go over different things like, uh, maybe we want to talk about different altcoins, you know, maybe we want to do technical analysis on different altcoins. Let me know if you guys want me to do a live stream. We can go ahead, get that set up. But anyways, yeah, this is all I got for you all today. Let me know what you think about this analysis. Do you think Bitcoin's about to hit 70K and then eventually pull all the way back down to about 50 to 40K? Or do you think we're not even going to be able to get past 62K? We're just going to get rejected. Maybe we get rejected at 65K and we just go straight down from there. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. If you want these automated trading indicators with the momentum wave bands, definitely check out the link in the description for Chart Prime. Very, very good indicators there. And hit the like button and subscribe. And as always, I'll be back with another video.